So once you make it to this guy right here, complete his quest and should be my level, level 54. Ooh, that's my boy, Kid Stan and IB main. Okay. And I'm about to show you how to get accessories, powers, and all that good stuff on this game. It's pretty simple. So just follow me. It should be in this island. Yup. I see it right there. Yes, sir. So yeah, as you can see, I made it to the chest. It's that simple. Once you make it to the chest, um, go over it and then... Hey yo, what is up guys, it's your boy the Solomon 2 and back with another video. Today's video is basically going to be a beginner's guide for Project XL. So if you're new to this game and currently lost and confused like I was an hour ago when I first played this game, then I suggest you stick around and continue watching this video. I'm about to hook you up with all the juicy information, information such as the fastest way to level up on this game at the moment, also how to get certain locations that you need to go to to progress, and any other information that you need to know to get by in this game. Alright, with that being said, the leg goal for this video is going to be 200 likes. You can definitely hit that like button and probably go above and beyond hit 300 or maybe 500 likes. You guys bless it up for your boy by smashing that like button on this video and I would highly recommend for you to smash that subscribe button as well if you're new to the channel so you don't miss out on my latest content. And yeah, without any further ado, let's get right into this beginner's guide. Alright, I'm in the game. So when you first hop on this game, you'll spawn in this island. The first thing you want to do is go to this NPC right here, interact with this NPC, and she'll give you a quest to defeat these bandits. Defeat the bandits and farm them basically until you hit level 20. Once you hit level 20, follow me. Go to this island right here. So yeah, just follow me real quick. Alright, so every time you go to a different island, make sure you go to this NBC and say you spawn location in that island. Unless, you know, you don't want to spawn in that island, then don't don't interact with this NBC. But if you want to spawn in the island, interact with this NBC. Because if you die and you don't interact with them, you won't spawn in the island you're at. So once you make it to this island and you're level 20, first thing you want to do is go to this uh, NBC right here. That's what I did at least. Interact with this NBC. Let me see if I can do the quest. No, I can't. So once you do the quest, you can't do it again. So interact with this NBC and she'll give you a quest to go pick up something or find something, which is pretty simple. Once you complete the quest, you'll level up like 13 times, bro. Once I complete this quest, I went from level 20 to level 30 something. That easy. So once you do that, go to this island right here. So yeah, once you're level 30 something, go to this island. Uh, I'll show you which island to go to. Just follow me. Alright guys, so check it out. I'm currently lost, so let me use my spectator mode real quick. Give me one second, boys. So I'm gonna go to the island with my spectator mode. So yeah, just one second. I think that's the island right there. I think that's the island. So yeah, let's go find out real quick. So yeah, once we make it to the island, what you want to do is interact with two NBCs. I'll show you which NBCs you want to interact with. And once you finish interacting with them and farming their quest, which you could only farm once, they'll be level 40 something. 40 something, yes sir. And then once you do that, I'll show you where to go next. So yeah, let's find the, the island real quick. Bro, I'm going slower than I thought. Bro. All right, maybe I shouldn't have used spectate mode. Tough. Alright, so I don't think that's the island. Nope, that's not the island. Alright, so, um, yikes, that's not the island. Ooh, that's my boy, Kid Stan and IB Man. Okay. Alright. Alright, so that's not the island. So I'll get back to you guys once I figure out where the island is, alright? All right, I found the island finally. So this is the island, y'all. So once you make it to this island, you'll want to go to this NBC right here. Hold up, <laughs> let me get up first. All right, so I'm on the island finally. So go to this NBC first. All right, this NBC right here. Interact with him. Complete the quest. Once you do the quest, you can't do it again. See, I can't interact with him because I already completed the quest. So once you complete the quest, go to this NBC right here, right here, and then complete his quest. Um. I don't know what this NBC does. I haven't interacted with him. Wait, did I? I forgot what he does. 
But yeah, interact with all of these NPCs. And once you're done interacting with them and completing the quest, you'll want to go to the island that we were at uh, in the first place before we got here. So yeah, let's go back to the island with the gorillas. And once you make it to the island, just basically farm that quest to you make it to my level, level 54. And that's the best quest to farm, I guess, until you make it to level max. So I'm guessing you stay on this island until you make it to level 80 or 100, which is max. I'm not really sure what the max level is. Actually, the max level isn't 100 because I've seen somebody that's like level 122. So I'm not really sure what the max level is. But yeah, once you once you finish the quest over there, you should be like level 40 something. And yeah, just come back to this island, get over there, and track with that NBC. So to get over there, it's pretty simple. So come over here, mm -hmm, and then double jump, and then dash. Simple. And then once you're here, interact with this NBC. I can't do it anymore because I completed the quest. So actually scratch that you can only do this quest once so i'm guessing you could do a quest only once so yeah there's all the quests out there that i didn't get to yet so once you make it to this guy right here complete his quest and you should be my level level 54 that's simple and that's how to level up on this game pretty simple all right with that being said i'm about to show you how to get accessories powers and all that good stuff on this game it's pretty simple so just follow me what you want to do is go to this island follow me let's go to the island real quick Alright, so what you want to do is go to this island right here and you'll find a bunch of NBCs. So, this NBC right here, you'll interact with her if you want to get um, accessories. So, I interacted with her and I managed to get the straw hat and I also managed to get the heart glasses. So, to get accessories, you'll interact with this NBC. So, interact with her and then she'll basically give you a compass that you'll need to follow around. And keep in mind, every time you interact with these NBCs, you'll get a cooldown. So you can't, you know, keep coming back and getting a compass. You'll wait. You'll have to wait until the cooldown is over in order to, you know, get a compass again and get other accessories and, and other double fruits and whatever you're trying to get. So as you can see, I got a compass right here. So I'm like 3,581 studs away from my accessory. So just, you know, just go any direction you want to go. And if it's decreasing, you're going the right way. If it's increasing, you're going the wrong way. So if it's increasing, go to different directions until it starts decreasing. So if it's decreasing, just stay going that direction. So at the moment, it's decreasing with, uh, for me. So I'm going to keep uh, going straight. So yeah, let's keep going straight until we make it um, to 100 studs. And yeah, once we make it to 100 studs, we'll find the chest. So every time you get a compass, it leads you to a certain chest. Right now, I'm going to the accessory chest. So once I make it to this chest, it's basically going to give me an accessory. Nothing else. So yeah, let's go to that chest real quick. So as you can see, it's increasing again. So I'm going the wrong way. Made a turn. Now it's decreasing again. That means I'm going the right way. So, like I said, every time it increases, you're going the wrong way. Make sure you know it's decreasing. Or, if it's not, then hey, you're going the wrong way, bro. <laughs> Alright, so it's decreasing again. I'm getting closer. Never mind, it's increasing. I think it's in that island. Nope, it's increasing. Is it this way? Yup, it's this way. It should be in this island. Yup, I see it right there. Yes, sir. So, yeah. As you can see, I made it to the chest. It's that simple. Once you make it to the chest, um, go over it and then you'll get an item, equip it, and then press it. And then click yes. And then boom, I got me a hat. A new hat, straw hat. So yeah, I just got a hat, the hat that I already had. So yeah, and that's how you get accessories. Now let me show you how to get double foods, armor, and everything that you can get in this game. So let's go back to the island. So to get things, you'll have to go to the island. Every NBC that gives you compasses is in that island right there. So yeah, let's go back to the island real quick. All right, guys. So um, check it out. At the moment, I can't get a double fruit or any superpower because I got one like 40 minutes ago. So I have a 21 minute cooldown. So every time you get a superpower double fruit, you have to wait one hour before you can get another one. So in order to get a superpower or double fruit, I think double fruit. You can't get superpowers, just double fruit. Yeah, so you just gotta find devil fruits in this game in order to get powers. So yeah, that's the only way to get powers in this game, by finding devil fruits. So the only way to find devil fruits is to go to this island and find this NBC right here. And then interact with this NBC and he'll give you a compass. And yeah, just basically follow follow uh, the compass. Every time it decreases, you're going the right way. Every time it increases, you're going the wrong way. Same way I got the accessory. It's gonna be the same way to get a devil fruit in this game. Um, Alright, so with that being said, let's go to this NBC right here. This NBC right here helps you get armor. 
So yeah, same thing, just interact with him, I'll give you a compass and follow that compass to the armor. And this NBC right here gives you a uh, treasure hunter, holiday treasure hunter. I'm not, really sure, I'm not really sure what he gives you, I'm guessing he just gives you holiday gears or accessories. I'm not really sure to be honest, but he also gives you a compass. So yeah, that's how to get accessories, uh, devil fruits, um, armor, and all that good stuff in this game. And I guess that's about it. That's everything you need to know to, you know, get settled in this game. So, with that being said, hop on this game, level up, get you a superpower and accessories, and get OP like your boy. Oh, also, one more thing. Over here in the UI, you'll see a bunch of UIs. You could go to stats, and in stats, you could save uh, some of your powers. So, for example, at the moment, I got me sleep and do and doing and do inducing gas so i got sleep inducing gas that's my superpower so let's say i'm trying to get a new superpower but at the same time i like my current superpower and i want to save it and use it in the future so what you could do is go to stats and you could uh equip it in your inventory you have two slots so i could equip it and then get another superpower so you could have two superpowers basically three so two in your inventory and one equipped so yeah that's pretty cool and uh in the other uis you could find a shop ui uh, in the shop you could uh i'm not really sure what this is i think i think uh these are double xp so if you buy this right here you get double xp for 15 minutes i'm not really sure don't take my word for it but this one for sure gives you a random double fruit so if you buy this game pass right here it gives you a random double fruit and over here it gives you a random double fruit but the only difference between this one and this one is that this one gives you a rare double fruit so yeah that's why it's expensive hella expensive and uh uh these are classes oh okay i was wondering how to get classes now i know so in order to get classes you have to buy them i'm guessing so let me buy a class real quick which class do i want hmm wait actually bruh i can't even read uh this one we spin your race we spin your trait bruh what <laughs> all right over here you could we spin your race we spin your trait we spin your class we spin your uh i'm not really sure what this is but anything you're not happy with you could respin it so uh i'm a villager i think that's my race i'm not really sure so let's let's respin my race real quick i got bought a new heart okay so let's exit the job real quick all right so i'm gonna eat the heart real quick so new race so yeah that's the only way you could get a race i'm not really sure how to get a race for free i think the only way to get a race is to buy it i'm not really sure don't take my word for it but yeah, just got me a quick race, easy. Um, I'm not really sure what race I got. I didn't read, so yeah, yikes. All right, so we spin trait. I don't even know what my trait is, so yeah, let's respin it and see what I get. But new eyeballs. Oh, interesting. Okay, let's see what this is. Are you sure you want to use this item? Sure, eyeball crush. New trait, strong. Okay. All right, so I'm strong. We spin class. I don't have enough robux. Yikes so yeah that's about it so this is they're pretty self-explanatory this right here just respins your class and i'm not really sure what this is let me know in the comment section what this is but yeah i guess that's about it for the beginner's guide if i missed anything let me know in the comment section and i'll make a better beginner's guide keep in mind i only played this game for one hour so i don't know everything about this game so go easy go easy on me in the comment section you know what i mean i tried my best but yeah, other than that, that's a lot of information. That information should help you get suited in this game. And also, one more thing. I got my earrings in a random island in this game. So, you know, um, adventure, check out the islands. And you'll find an island where it, there's a guy that sells piercings. So yeah, once you find that island, you'll, you can interact with that guy and get piercings if you want piercings like me. But I'm not really sure what the piercings do. I don't think they do anything. The accessories, I forgot to mention. I should have mentioned this earlier. The accessories give you uh, extra stats. So as you can see, um, my rose colored glasses give me 5 defense, my blue knight armor gives me 140 defense, and my straw hat gives me 10 defense. So yeah, and I guess that's about it. And stats, pretty self-explanatory, that's your stats. And yeah, like I said, if I missed anything, let me know in the comment section. But other than that, it's this world shall know Peace pain. Out.